Tomorrow there will be a huge feeding effort with a slight change. The 31st annual Feed the Multitude celebration. It's happening this weekend. WDSU's Damon Singleton joins us now live from Victory Church in Metairie with more on what you can expect. Hey, Damon. Hey, Christina. Yeah, and if you look around this place, uh, it is filled with an incredible amount of food that is going to be provided to a lot of needy people uh, in the community here tomorrow. I'm here with Pastor Chris Monarjan. Monarjan. <laughs> Pastor Chris Monarjan of Victory Fellowship. And, and this is an incredible operation you guys have going here. Yeah, we're looking forward to a great day tomorrow. This is our 31st annual Feed the Multitudes. And no matter what's going on in this life, we're going to celebrate the freedom that we have in America, the freedom we have in Christ, and, and serve the people of this great city. So yeah. that's the game plan. Yeah, and this is usually almost a big festival. I was here a few years ago when you were out uh, washing people's feet and, uh, and spreading the good word. Absolutely. Normally, like you said, it's a giant festival. Folks are walking all around the property and getting the services that they want and need. The fact is this year it's a little bit different. We're going to do a drive through edition. Folks are going to stay in their cars the whole time. That way we can social distance but still get resources into people's hands. We're going to be not only having live music outside for folks to listen to mm -hmm. as they drive through, but we're actually also going to be providing snowballs directly to their cars, snack bags. They'll actually get to-go plates with jambalaya, barbecue chicken, corn on the cob, <laughs> dessert. It's going to be awesome. Red beans and rice. Not only that, but then they actually, as they leave, they get a, a whole watermelon <laughs> and they get several boxes of groceries. So it's going to be a great day. You should come out, rain or shine. We're yep. doing this thing. Yeah, and we're supposed to have some rain tomorrow. What's the start time? What's the finish time? It is 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And so the, the lineup is over at Zephyr Stadium right over there. The police will be directing traffic and all that kind of good stuff. You line in right there, and they'll be escorted in a single file line, getting onto the property, doing a loop around, and getting the resources and having a good time as they go through. Okay, and the lineup starts at 7 a.m.? Yes, get here no earlier than 7 a.m., and uh, it's just going to be a great time. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, this is no ordinary uh, food giveaway. This sounds like it's going to be something really special. That's right. We're trying to have a little treat here for folks just to get out, and, and folks can't maybe do what they normally do, but at least they can come, receive some resources, and maybe uh, have a little fun. Because even, even if we can't put the band outside, we've got a little FM transmitter. We're going to be broadcasting <laughs> to the cars directly, and that way they can actually enjoy the music while they're actually driving around. That sounds great. And besides the, the great folks that you have working here today, you've got some great partners in this. We do. Thanks for mentioning that. Salvation Army this year sponsored, co-sponsored with us, and Second Harvest Food Bank. So Second Harvest has provided food. Salvation Army has also stepped up, provided food. We've got some great help, partnership. It is, a, you know, the, the community right. is pulling together. Pastor, thank you very much. Victory Fellowship tomorrow starts at 10 a.m. Back to you guys in the studio. All right, Damon Singleton, Live Force Damon, thank you. Next at noon, Louisiana prisons are